While all-you-can-eat Wagyu is fairly plentiful in Tokyo, this spot is truly a cut above. Their all-you-can-eat course doesn't just offer any ordinary Wagyu. Here, you can indulge to your heart's content in some of Japan's highest grade, most premium beef. Most notably, Matsusaka beef, considered one of the famous Sandai Wagyu, was a highlight of the experience. But offering such a luxurious top-tier Wagyu in an all-you-can-eat format almost sounds too good to be true, does it not? Well, while there are a few small quirks to dining here, this place is the real deal. And perhaps it's because this isn't quite an all-you-can-eat establishment to begin with. Rather, it's an incredibly decorated high-end Wagyu artisan restaurant that happens to offer their top quality fare in a special all-you-can-eat course. And while it's exceeded expectations on every visit, don't just take our word for it. Here's an in-depth look so you can judge for yourself. So the course starts with multiple high-quality appetizers and two starting meat plates. Herein lies the first little quirk. The specific cuts of meat cannot be specified, and each serving is at the discretion of the chef based on availability. That said, fret not as you're in good hands. The pattern observed across multiple visits and corroborated across separate reviews is that the first serving is exclusively lean meat, followed by subsequent servings that feature the more marble pieces. That said, all of the meat across the board was expertly cut of peak freshness and identical quality to their a la carte and prefix course offerings. The extensive assortment of fresh condiments and garnishes was also a highlight, as they enabled a vast range of personal customization for each piece. But now, let's take a closer look at the Wagyu. As mentioned earlier, cuts vary on the day to ensure freshness and are served entirely based on chef's recommendation. And while each piece has its own depth and nuance worth exploring for yourself, there was an overarching theme across all of the meat served. The flavors were rich, full-bodied, and filled with a sweet, beefy umami that was simultaneously pronounced yet clean. Even if you have a preference for marbled cuts, the quality here was undeniable. It also works as a great setup for the more marbled delights on deck. But as an important aside, the Wagyu tongue was also surprisingly excellent. It had a perfectly toothsome texture and a deep yet delicate umami that boasted expert ingredient selection and preparation. But now for the creme de la creme. These were the marbled cuts of meat and they were quite honestly the finest, highest quality yakiniku cuts I've had in an all-you-can-eat setting. In fact, the kainomi in particular was some of the best wagyu yakiniku I've ever had, period. Despite being a thicker cut, which typically tends to be on the tougher side, the marbling here melted beautifully and created a perfectly tender, juicy, buttery bite. And if you'd like to experience this all for yourself, here's a few quick logistics notes that might be helpful. About a 10 minute walk from Rapongi Station, this restaurant is more of a fine dining type of establishment, which might not be for everyone. The all-you-can-eat course itself is specifically only offered on the weekends during lunch hours, and reservations are essentially required. And lastly, while it's a bit pricier than most similar AYCE courses, I do believe you can get exceptional value if you come with a large appetite and an even larger enthusiasm to savour some of the finest Wagyu Japan has to offer. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.